Okay. I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Rachel really is good at everything she does. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> yeah, go skip. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Huh. Almost forgot I had this. I haven't played with it since, uh, ever. Russia, huh? Kind of far from L.A. Best vodka in the world, though. Rachel would love it. <laughs> nope. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. What do I want the record to show? I'd say I went down in a place of glory. <sighs> it's way too early to be up on a Sunday. Stan, Stan here, I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Please welcome Sergeant Alex Keller with the Arcadia Bay Police Department to the show. Sergeant Keller, drug use in Arcadia Bay Still is on the rise. I can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Heroin? You'd uh, think a small huh? town like Arcadia Bay would be safe from things like that. Mom well, usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not ground. doing my laundry. All kinds of people get involved. Red, Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Does the ABPD have any leads on where the heroin's going? Sorry, board. I can't discuss any I've got a real ride to fix up now. We are working closely with the district attorney. Have I ever watered that? Right on. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you. Uh, better than nothing. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. It's so weird to be home. As much as this place sucks, at least it's not full of secrets. Nobody's hiding anything. Well, except me and my pot. And everything with Rachel. But how could I possibly tell mom what I'm up to? I'm so tired of pretending things are fine to mom. I, I always mess up again, and then she gets mad. Maybe, 
Maybe I should try not to see her today. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home, and not fuck this shithole forever. I wonder who gave this to mom. So if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? if it really is moving in. I remember this. Mom left it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. <sighs> Can I just... Give that to mom again for Mother's Day. No way. Mom actually sold her ring for $300. Because nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Sports cars are really good for... Flames. Lots of flames. That's probably going to ruin the paint job. Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay... My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just... Calmly look for it. I don't even know what's in there. <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. I dream.
truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? 
I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm, I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. But Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're gonna regret it. Come here. Take a look at this. This is my friend, Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad.
please, I'm begging you, give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. The last person I would ever talk to about my dad is you, Chloe. Think it over for more than a, a minute. It's a basic courtesy, you know, when people offer to help. You're out of your fucking mind. You disrespectful little shit. You just made a serious hey, mistake. Both of you. You don't scare me, asshole. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? <laughs> <laughs> 